when you check the voltage on a battery, if the battery ha has been in use, and it's seen either charge or discharge currents, you're going to get a voltage reading that doesn't correlate with the state of charge or the condition of the battery. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Lattenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Right. Today our question is the following. How do you test the condition of your batteries if all you have available is a multimeter and a basic battery monitoring system? Okay, Nigel, what's your well, point? Well, the multimeter isn't necessarily a whole lot of use. Uh, when you check the voltage on a battery, if the battery ha has been in use and it's seen either charge or discharge currents, you're going to get a voltage reading that doesn't correlate with the state of charge or the condition of the battery. So it's really difficult to get much information about the state of a battery from a voltmeter. The key here is the system's monitoring device because we can measure amp hours in and out. So if we can fully recharge that battery uh, and then we can put a load on it when we can measure how many amp hours we take out of the battery, if we're willing to more or less fully discharge the battery, we can find out whether it's still got up to its uh, radiant capacity or close to it. But to do that, we have to basically fully discharge the battery and take it down if it's a 12 volt battery to 10 and a half volts. And we don't want to do that very often because it's hard on the battery. It does some minor internal damage, but it, it is really the only effective way to do a decent capacity test on a battery. And then we immediately recharge it. In normal usage, we can also track the amp hours in and out. If we've say pulled out 50% of the nominal state of charge of the battery, then we could let the battery rest for a little bit, and then we could use the voltmeter. And if the battery voltage is somewhere around the published 50% state of charge voltage, we can sort of correlate the two and get a sense of how the battery is doing. But it doesn't work very well. The other thing the, here is that if we're measuring the amp hours in and out, and we discover that we appear to be getting fewer amp hours before the battery gets close to being discharged than we used to, and then we discover that the battery charges faster than it used to, then we know that we have a sulfation problem in the battery. So there are, there are ways we can, we can deduce information from the systems monitor and from the voltmeter, but it does require an understanding of how the battery operates and, and its internal processes and how these translate into voltage readings and, and amp hour readings and so on. It's not a straight line, simple process. And if you do the full discharge capacity, you definitely need to watch the voltage because if let's say there's like only 60% capacity there and you discharge it with like a current constant load until you what you think should be the capacity, then you might deeply discharge it and actually damage the battery. So I think that's something to yes. closely monitor. On that the discharge cycle, the voltage will slowly go down, but it's not linear. As we get towards uh, the fully discharged state, it starts to increase rapidly. It might take you, uh, you know, 10 hours to get down to uh, 12 volts, and then it might take you like an hour or so, or, or a lot less than that, to get to 10 and a half volts. And once you get um, down to 11 volts, the voltage is going to be dropping really quickly. So you have to be watching it fairly fairly closely um, to not end up over discharging the battery. All right. Well, with that said, if you want to learn more about batteries and how to make sure that they actually last eight to 10 years, well, eight to 10 years, if you have a quality um, AGM or gel cell battery, um, and if not, there's probably some something wrong with the with the duty cycle. So if you want to learn more about all this stuff, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course where we teach you all about this and much more. Check it out, boathowto.com. See you soon.